the Gospel according to St. John, the 21st chapter. Glory to you, Lord. After these things, Jesus showed himself again to the disciples by the Sea of Tiberias, and he showed himself in this way. Gathered there together were Simon Peter, Thomas called the twin, Nathaniel of Cana in Galilee, the sons of Zebedee, and two others of his disciples. Simon Peter said to them, I am going fishing. They said to him, We will go with you. They went out and got into the boat, but that night they caught nothing. Just after daybreak, Jesus stood on the beach, but the disciples did not know it was Jesus. Jesus said to them, Children, have, you have no fish, have you? They answered him, No. He said to them, Cast the net to the right side of your boat, and you will find some. So they cast it, and now they were not able to haul it in because there were so many fish. That disciple whom Jesus loved said to Peter, It is the Lord. When Simon Peter heard that it was the Lord, he put on some clothes, for he was naked, and jumped into the sea. But the other disciples came in the boat, dragging the net full of fish, for they were not far off from the land, only about a hundred yards. When they had gone ashore, they saw a charcoal fire there with fish on it and bread. Jesus said to them, Bring some of the fish that you have just caught. So Simon Peter went aboard and hauled the net ashore full of large fish, 153 of them. Yes. And though there were so many, the net was not torn. Jesus said to them, Come and have breakfast. Now none of the disciples dared to ask him, Who are you? Because they knew it was the Lord. Jesus came and took the bread and gave it to them, and did the same with the fish. This was now the third time that Jesus had appeared to the disciples after he was raised from the dead. When they had finished breakfast, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? He said to him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my lambs. A second time he said to him, Simon, son of John, do you love me? He said to him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Tend my sheep. He said to him a third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter felt hurt because he said to him the third time, Do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my sheep. Very truly I tell you, when you were younger, you used to fasten your own belt and go wherever you wished. But when you grow old, you will stretch out your hands and someone else will fasten a belt around you and take you where you do not wish to go. He said this to indicate the kind of death by which he would glorify God. After this, he said to him, Follow me. The Gospel of the Lord. Not once, not twice, but three times. I might just die if he asks me one more time if I love him. Every single time he's asked, I have told him, but he doesn't seem to believe me. Am I so far from his graces that he doesn't remember the real me? He's the one, the only one who ever really saw me for who I am. I'll never forget the day when Andrew introduced me to Jesus. The moment he said, come and see, I knew he was the Messiah. It was then that he changed my name to Peter. No longer was I Simon. But now, now he keeps calling me Simon, as if Peter doesn't exist anymore. Maybe Jesus doesn't believe in me anymore. Honestly, if I'm honest, I have been trying to dodge him since the resurrection, or at least not have to come face to face with him. Because let me tell you, it is one thing to feel terribly guilty when you have let someone down and they're dead, but it's a whole other ball of wax when you betray them and they aren't actually dead. They aren't actually in the tomb and they keep showing up. It's like he's demanding a reckoning. When he took our breath away by passing through the walls in the upper room, I was able to shrink into the background. And then I dodged a bullet when Thomas opened his big mouth and started asking all of his silly questions and doubts. But now there is no escaping him. It's too bad I can't go back to that moment around the campfire. Not this campfire. No, this one is hard enough with all his questions, but that one, when the servant girl outed me while I was warming myself around the fire in the courtyard, she said, aren't you one of his disciples? No. No, I said no. That fateful word. I am not one of his disciples. I was, though. I was a disciple. 
and I still am, if Jesus will still let me. Jesus, I didn't just deny you around that campfire, but I decided denied myself. The girl asked me who I was, and I said I wasn't the rock. I wasn't a disciple. I wasn't Peter. So now I'm just Simon again. Which is why I'm here at the Sea of Tiberias fishing. Because what else am I supposed to do? The only thing I know how to do is fish. And I'm not even doing that very well today. I had hoped that from the familiarity of the water and the whipping of the wind and the smell of the sea would remind me when life was simpler. Help me return to the past and start over. Help me forget. But I guess I can't really go back. I can't forget meeting him. I can't forget loving him. I can't forget betraying him or missing him. I know that everybody is probably laughing at me because I put on my clothes to jump in the lake. And I know it makes no sense, but I'm so ashamed. And I don't want to see him. And I don't want him to see me. I can't explain it. Every place I go, Jesus seems to seek me out. And he is relentless. Do I love him? That question keeps echoing in my ears. Of course. Of course I love him. But I get it. I mean, I get it. I told him over and over again that I would never deny him, never leave him, never betray him. And I did. Not once, not even twice but three times. Does he have to keep rubbing it in my face? Do I love him? Yes. A million times, yes. And I'm just not that good at loving sometimes. I wish that I had the nerve to ask him if he loves me. Yes. 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 Yes, I love you even when you betray me. Yes, I love you, even when you deny me. Yes, I love you, even when you forget me. And when you betray others, deny others, and forget others, I still love you even then. There is nothing you have done or will do that will make me stop loving you. Nothing you can do or not do that will make me stop loving you, any of you. Let me ask you in another way, Peter. Will you come and see all that I all that there is to see in this world? I believe in you, Peter, more than you will ever know. Come and see. The only way to close out Peter's solilo soliloquy is to close with the final words that, of the Gospel of John. This is how the Gospel of John closes. But there are also many other things that Jesus did. If every one of them were written down, I suppose that the world itself could not contain the books that would be written. The world itself could not contain the books that would be written about the things that Jesus has done in the world and for the people of the world. For that, all the people.